Hi, Colette the Salmon Lady here in Newport in my special salmon spotting pod in the river with my fantastic fish friend Shawnee. Shawnee? She was there. Honestly, where's that fish gone to? Shawnee, where are you? Ah, oh, now then there is a way we can make her come to us, isn't there? We did it last time. Do you remember? We have to call her by her name. Shawnee, the Super Atlantic Salmon! No, she's not coming for me. Maybe she'll come if we all call together like last time. Are you ready? After three. One, two, three. Shawnee, the Super Atlantic Salmon! Ah, there she is. She came when you called her again. Did you know that the River Usk Avon Whisk isn't just Shawnee's home, it's home to lots of other different kinds of fish and plants and other creatures too, like herons and otters. Isn't that right, Shawnee? Shawnee? Oh, where's she disappeared to? Hmm, I think I might know why Shawnee's disappeared after all. You see, Shawnee and all the other creatures that live in and around the river are just like us. They have to eat food. But they don't go to the shops to get their food, do they? I mean, have you ever seen an otter in a supermarket? Or a heron in a fish and chip shop? No, they have to find their food themselves in the river. Which is why I think Shawnee might have disappeared. Whenever she gets hungry, she goes off and finds herself a tasty snack, like a caddisfly or a mayfly nymph. So maybe that's where she's gone. Although she might have disappeared for a different reason altogether. She might have disappeared because she's seen Harry the Heron and Alwyn the Otter. Just as Shawnee finds her food in the river, so do the Heron and the Otter. And sometimes they like to eat, shh, I'll say it quietly, fish. So Shawnee has to try and stay safe in the river because while she's looking for her food to eat, well, the heron and the otter might be thinking it would be nice to have a fish supper and they're not going to phone for a takeaway. Mm -mm. They have to find their food themselves in the river. Let's see how they do that. The heron is a breathtaking bird with long, long legs, a long neck, a sharp pointed beak and big wide wings. When the heron is looking for food, it moves its long legs very slowly through the water or it stands still like a statue, looking in and seeing if it can find anything to eat. If the heron moved its legs and feet quickly, then the creatures would know that the heron was there and the fish would swim away and we would have a very hungry heron. So they stay very still with their beak ready watching the creatures in the water and when one comes close enough they use their sharp beak to try and catch it. Shall we be herons and try and catch a fish ourselves? Here's my heron. Can you see his body, his long neck and his beak? He's very hungry and he's looking for something to eat. Here he is. He's very still and he's looking in the water. I think he spotted a fish. <gasps> he's caught it! Otters are really good at fishing too, so Shawnee stays well away if they're around. She doesn't like it when I say this, but
but otters really are super, super swimmers. They have special webbed feet, just like these, to help them swim underwater. And they have thick, thick fur coats to keep them warm too. They don't need any wetsuits. When it comes to finding their food in the river, otters use their eyes and their wonderful twitching whiskers. How cool is that? In fact, it's utterly wonderful. Did you like that joke? Can you twitch your whiskers like Olwyn? Like this. Harry's beautiful beak and Olwyn's wonderful whiskers are incredible, aren't they? And they are what they use to help them find their food in the river. But our super and special fish, Shawnee, is very good at finding her food too and keeping safe in the river as she travels down the watery road from the mountains to the sea. She's also very, very good at hiding, especially from me. Hmm, I wonder what I could do to persuade Shawnee to come back. Hmm, I know. She knows I love singing and she loves my singing. And she loves it even more when I'm singing about her. So, maybe if we sang a song in which she's a star of the show, she just might come back to us. I'll sing it first and then we'll sing together. Okay, me first. May fly on the river bed, gills are spotty and a flat brown head. It's only small but a tasty dish, a favourite food for birds and fish. Like a salmon, like a salmon. Like a salmon, like a salmon, like a salmon. Great big heron is standing there. On one leg, him wait and stare. His neck is long, his beak is sharp. He won't find me. I'm far too smart as I'm a salmon. 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 What to run the riverside? Whiskers twitch, eyes open wide. She'd like to have some fish for tea, but I'll make sure she won't catch me. Cause I'm a salmon. 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 Did you see Shawnee? Is she here? Still not coming for me. Maybe when we all sing together, she'll come back to us. And the words will pop up so the grown ups can sing along too. Are you ready? Here we go. May fly on the river bed. Gills are spotty and a flat brown head. It's only small but a tasty dish. A favourite food for birds and fish. Like a salmon. 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 Great big heron is standing there. On one leg him wait and stare. His neck is long, his beak is sharp, he won't find me. I'm far too smart as I'm a salmon. I'm a salmon. I'm a salmon, I'm a salmon, I'm a salmon. What to run the riverside? Whiskers twitch, eyes open wide. She'd like to have some fish for tea, but I'll make sure she won't catch me. Cause I'm a salmon. I'm a salmon. I'm a salmon, I'm a salmon, I'm a salmon! Oh, there she is. She really does love being the star of the song, doesn't she? I hope you like that song too. It helps to remind us that our rivers are home for lots of different kinds of creatures and they all need each other. I hope you've had fun today and that we'll see you again soon. Until then, stay safe, have fun and think about what you can do to help our rivers. Bye for now.